What's up guys, it's Mr. Soap999 here and welcome to the Octopath Traveler for the Nintendo Switch. Today is the final tale, Hana's Chapter 4. In still snow, Hana did meet with the seer Susanna who told her of a plant that could protect her from Red Eye's fell curse. Never did she expect to find a dragon in those dark woods. Very few hunters in history have felt such a beast, but Hana now stands among them. Now I can finally face Red Eye and bring Master back. When leaving the village, she was met by one of Elisa's men, who told her where she might find a fiend. Now the die is cast. Ready to face her fate, she journeys to Marcelum, Jewel of the Desert. Oh boy. Here. So far, we... So far, wow. We're almost at the very end. Yeah, Lena does not I like see. the climate. Yep, too hot for her. But while we are approaching the very end, this is the last of the Traveler's Tales. After that, it's either... After that, it's um, side stories. Side stories? And then eventually taking on the final boss. <laughs> Thou shalt stay by my side. Thou art a stalwart friend, Lennon. Alright, yeah, so we have to find Liza and some shade. <laughs> I believe we've located her. That's one of her men. Mayhap. Pray pardon, my lady, but are you haunted of the dark wood? Just so. I am. I have come to meet him with Elisa. Of course. Ah, splendid. We have been awaiting your arrival. Please come with me. Yeah, this. Oh, she's gonna come with us. Yay! Begging your pardon, Lady Lisa, but Hana the Huntress has arrived. Thank you. Good. Thank you, Sergeant. Hunt. This is good to see you again, my friend. Pray tell me of your quest. Have you found a way to cure Zana? Yes. I have. The curse can be broken, but only by slaying the monster that caused it. Hmm. Then all is not lost, for we have found the beast. It lurks in an ancient ruin to the west of here. The locals call it Grimsan. And yet, how do you mean to defeat Red Eye? Even Zana himself was no match for the fiend. If thou wilt. I found a way to protect myself from its curse. Excellent. Truly, then we may have cause to hope after all. I am ready. I will leave for the ruins at once. I think not. Wait, Hanan. There's one more thing you should know. Oh, and what is that? When Red Eye entered the ruins, many of the monsters that once lived there fled before it. They began to roam the surface, threatening travelers and farmers alike. Oh dear. General Leonor led the city guard into the sands to drive them off. Mm -hmm. So it's a similar situation to what happened in Hana's chapter 1. When that monster came into the dark woods, all the monsters there fled from it because it was too powerful. Nice time, I gotta say. No matter how many men he marches with, General Leonard cannot hope to defeat it. Well, that's why Team Octopath is here. Then let us pray that he did not find it. You know he found it. Meanwhile, in the Grim Sand Ruin. And save us! My legs turned to stone! Oh my gosh. God, this can't be! Oh dear. <laughs> they're all, they're frozen statues. Oh no. This is a massacre. Fall back. Fall back, I say. Captain Roth, 
get the men to safety. Ah! But sir... Listen up. I'll keep the beast busy. Damnation! You must not, sir. Not alone. Let me... Boy! You have your orders, Captain. Go! Yes, sir! Oh no. Huh. Have you heard? The hunting party has returned. Oh. It has been some time, has it not? <sighs> Indeed, I fear the worst. <sighs> the soldiers that marched against the monsters, they have returned. And yet, what is this boldful mood that pervades the air? Where is my elo? <sighs> Why are they back now? I saw them. I saw monsters roaming in scores around the ruins just this morning. Ugh! It's only a matter of time before they reach the town. <laughs> Father is dead. Is that so? So then... So the battle was lost. <sighs> this is not Indeed. good. Ah, Hana, there you are. We make for the palace to discuss our next move. This is Captain Roth. He says the regiment was nearly annihilated. You must be the apprentice of the great hunter, Sana. Many of my men died today. I cannot let their sacrifice be in vain. We shall rearm, re-equip, and do whatever is required to bring down that goddamn beast. Could you? Pray, lend us your aid. That's yes. why I'm here, buddy. Yes, that's why I'm here. I am most pleased to see you return safe, Captain. I fear there is no pleasure in it for me, Your Highness. I fled like a coward. You did your duty, Captain. Without you to bring us word of what happened, we would be all but doomed. Now, we would hear your report. By your leave, Your Majesty. There were packs of monsters roaming in the vicinity of the ruins. The men fought bravely and succeeded in culling their numbers. Emboldened, we dared to venture into the ruins themselves. It was there that red-eyed beast came upon us. A ferocious creature of a size and strength I've not seen. But that was not the worst of it. Any soldier that met its blood-red gaze was turned to stone. Living statues, insensible to all around them. Tell me one thing, Captain. Your Highness? Did these men fight bravely to the end? Everyone. I see. That will be all, Captain. However, this matter is not over. Our fallen men must be avenged. Begging your highness's leave, we can do better than revenge. If the red-eye beast itself is slain, your men will be released from its curse. Is this true? But you heard yourself. This fiend wields terrible powers. What hope have we of slaying it when a single glance invites certain doom? I can protect myself from the petrification. 
by your leave, I shall fight the beast alone. Can you defeat it? I swear on my life. I will bring the beast down and free your men from its baleful curse. What is your name? I am see the glitter of steel in your eye. Resolve and strength in equal measure. Each time a menace has been visited upon this realm of mine, a hero with the same steel in their eye has stepped forward to save it. This time, you will be that hero for us. By your leave. I shake the rest of the men and drive off the monsters outside the ruins. The knights are done, shall sally with you. We shall escort Hanit safely to the entrance. Very good. Hanit, slay this beast and return safely to us. I shall. Hanit. We may yet succeed, Hanit. Now we have the might of a whole city behind us. Mm. King Calium is a forthright man. He looked me square in the eye and entrusted me with the future of his realm. And it is the mark of a great leader to have the courage to make difficult choices. <laughs> courage? Nay. Wisdom, I say. The wisdom to look into a young woman's heart and see the strength and resolve within. Well, well. Lowly hunter though I am. These are good people with a good king. They deserve my help as much as anyone in this world. Indeed. Out here in the desert, people must work hard to save every drop of water they find. They learn that they must work together and share their fortunes and burdens alike. They must trust each other and work as one, or die. The harsh sands have shaped them into a loyal, generous, and honest folk. I see. Then it would behove me ill to lend them down. This as Master always say. Betrays not the trust of others, least thou betrays thy own honor. Well said. Wise words. Prevail and you will save not only your master, but a king and his people. Mm. Yes, I will not rest until this red eye is slain. The battle will not be an easy one. Steal yourself as best as you can and speak to me when you are ready. Listen up! Shoulder to shoulder, men! Hurt him! Oh boy. This is almost like over. Stand firm! Give as good as you get! Knights are done! Knights Ardent! Form a cauldron around Hanat! Two arms! With me! We'll carve a path through the ruins. Charge! Charge! The way is open. Drive through. Protect Hana. Even though she's a war master, but you know, it's, it's perfectly fine. Very Hi. That was has my gratitude. Now, let's finish off these beasts for the king, for Marsalam! Oh, let none escape! For Marsalam! Leave it to me. Leave this to us. We shall not lose this battle. Take care, Hanan. And may your arrows fly true. I am ready. So, Red Eye hid in these ruins. <laughs> 
This boat is ill. Thou feelest too, eh, girl? A grim pale hang in the air. Danger look ahead, though we cannot see its form. Let us tread carefully. These are the guards from Marcelin. Understand this creature's heart. I cannot read it. I can sense the feelings of every beast, every monster, but from this one, nothing. Still, my task remaineth the same. Thou hast taken people from us, and we shall have them back. And so am I. Here we are with Red Eye. An ill foreboding to raise this. the battlefield. So Red Eye, uh, let's see here. He's going to be changed. He's going to be shifting his form constantly. So that means his weaknesses are never going to be the same. Needless to say, um, this could be a rather bad one. This could also be a rather good one. But it all really depends. However. He could spirit away your characters, or he could petrify them, but very, very rarely does he ever get petrified. Majority of his attacks are physical, just as we had just suffered Rend. Unfortunately, I don't have... Let's see. Oh, um, I know what we can do. I'm going to use a concoct. It was great. Yeah, it was great. Try this. I got this right. An interesting dynamic. Right. I'm just going to analyze here because even though he changes his form, it's never the same. Here goes yep, nothing. there we go. Here goes nothing. Okay, uh, let's see here. I'm not going to do anything right now. But, however, I am going to be boosting my party VP. Unfortunately, we need that. I'm not going to be cheesing it here with... Uh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna have to cheese it. Okay, let's see here. Better than a snake. Leg hole trap as usual. And I'm going to... Uh, hopefully, he <laughs> doesn't use spirit away, or otherwise that's gonna be really grow our party up. An interesting dilemma. An interesting dilemma. I'm gonna, however, warm him up here. Elemental break. Elemental break. Attack. Miss. No close. Great. Thought you had me? Coming. body rights not. Alright, so, uh, <laughs> yeah, so we don't really know what his weaknesses are, but here's one. Oh! That's fine. That's fine. Here we I go. didn't expect that to actually hit, but. Alright. All right. Uh, I'll take that. Okay. Uh, Mostly gonna be using it for a moment, so that way we can do some good stuff. What to do? What to do? Uh, we're gonna transfer a light here. Light! Then I'm going to have Cyrus yeah. poof up here. Elephant's Enlightenment. I think Elephant's Enlightenment is uh, far more useful compared to Dressage's skill. Here we go! Yeah, we're gonna be fine. There's nothing to really uh, worry about here. So I'm just gonna put some in poison. Your poison. It helps. It helps. Letting the hunt begin. Holding back nothing. Right. 
when held battle cross. We should be able to do some major damage. Hey, hey staffs. Light pursuit, no bright pursuit. There it is. What next? What next? What next? Elemental break. Elemental break. He's pretty much running weak to light all the time. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of damage. I was not expecting that much damage. Holy crap. I am amazed. Feel the power. Transfer room. Just to keep the light damage up for the party. <laughs> Take a thousand damage for poison. Nice. Let's do this. So, um, Let's just uh, take a moment here to realize something here. That roar sounded very human. Very human-like. Gonna be something, 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 something. I don't know. <laughs> Gonna be something. Coming if thou darest. Great. Who knows, maybe we might actually be fighting a boss that we, a person that we thought was supposedly dead. I mean, it's just a, it's just a guess, right? It's not like it could actually be true. Wait a minute. Oh no. Oh, the light is about to run out. Actually, you know what? I'm going to hit the Tenebra. I'm going to hit the Lux Conjugar. Look, on the grid. Broken. Nice. Red Eye is almost dead. Now, what shall we do here? I want to give Hana the uh, final victory. At least I hope I can give Hana the final victory. This is her chapter after all. Yes, even when he's broken, he's still going to uh, change forms. So unfortunately, there's not really much you can do about that. That's alright, right? We're almost at the home stretch. Thousand HP left. the hunt beginning. Right. No, I'm not gonna use Wind Hill's battle cry. I'm gonna use this. Power before the hunters. Ninety-nine thousand damage. Nice. The hunt ends. And that is the end of Haunted's Tale and the final one of the Octopath Travelers. What? What evil is this? Does this mean the curse is lifted? The devil take you, monster! He's fine. Oh, I can move again! I am saved! Yeah, unfortunately, um, the weirdest thing about this boss fight is that despite the fact that the whole entire game was Truly? boosting the fact that Red Eye can petrify, never once does he pull out petrify even when he's near death. By your hand. I mean, you couldn't even go in there without the advanced class, and he'll sure. never almost petrify you. It's just weird. For a monster that does the, for a monster that does this petrification thing, he didn't even use it in battle. All he will ever do is just stun lock your party. Oh, -ho. Sons, I can taste the air again. Look, I am flesh and blood. Those two are fine. Oh, we are thanks. saved. Ah! Yes, I mean, you did it. Wondrous well, how can we thank you for this miracle? Nay. Thou needest not. I had cause on my own to slay the beast. But if thou wilt show thanks, leave this place and take thy men back to their king. His majesty wait anxiously for good tidings. <gasps> Understood. Then I will not tarry one moment. By your leave, my lady. <sighs> Bahanet could not read this monster. The curse is broken, but had Master been saved, 
Hanek could not read this monster. So does that mean he's not really a beast? Behold, my fellows! Hanit the Huntress, Slayer of Red Eye, has returned! General Lenar tells me of your exploits. You have slain the menace. You saved my poor men and our city. You are our savior, and we are forever in your debt. What I did was for my own avail. Perhaps so, Huntress. Yet grateful we remain. I would like to propose a banquet in your honor. But alas, I divine that you will not tarry here with us. I cannot, Highness. I must see with mine own eyes if my master hath been freed from the curse. Of course. General Lenar. Sire, my men are ready to escort the Huntress at your command. Hmm? I informed King Kalim of your circumstances. He ordered preparations be made in advance. You fought the Red Eye to bring your master to life. My soldiers recovered the instant it was slain. Pray, go to his side at once. Thank you, Your Highness. Think nothing of it, but perhaps when your quest is done, you would grace us with your presence once more. And then we may throw the banquet you deserve. You honor me. I hope that day shall come soon. Not far now. God's mercy! What is that fiend? <gasps> Come, Linda, with me! Look out! Huh? <laughs> Hagen! If thou art here, then... What ho, Hunnets! <laughs> Don't tell me thou's grown again! Not in height, Master. But if thou speakest of experience, then yes. Ah, that must be it. Hope I didn't cause thee too much trouble. Some, Master. And I was worried for a spell. Thou were? Then I guess I owe thee an apology. Thou certainly dost. Stay, my dear. That was thy cue to say, not at all. And not just to me. To Natalia, Susanna, and Eliza as well. You had us all worried. That's a long list. But no matter. Rest assured, I'll make an apology to each and every one. And then I shall thank them, them too, for good measure. Us not. Hunnet, thank thee. Thou's done me proud. <laughs> Blushing, aren't we? Perhaps thou's not grown that much after all. Uh, and thou clearly hast learnest nothing from this misadventure. <laughs> oh, man my age hath learned all the things he ever will, I'm afraid. Begging your pardon, sir, but we just wanted to thank you. 
Oh, quite. Think nothing of it. Art thou hurt? Nothing that won't mend soon enough, by your grace, sir. Good to hear it. So, where were we? Ah, oh, yes. Thou were about to tell me of thine adventures. It's a long story. Wouldst thou hear in it all? Every last word. The journey I had taken was but a short episode in my life. But I would come into telling the tale of it many times in the years to come in. For the first time as a hunter, I found a story that was mine alone. It was my first story, but not my last. But those are tales for another day. And so I end my story here. Thou canst always come to our village to hear in it again. Though I warn you, it may not be the same with every telling. <laughs>